High atop the Howard Stern Building in Midtown Manhattan. No more bullshit. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Mike Hambrick. Whackbacker High Pitch Eric continues to make personal commitments to charitable causes. As John Lieberman reports, High Pitch's latest effort, a very personal one. It's Howard 100 News. You need to know. Well, I do it for my mother, and, you know, I did it last year. And, you know, I'm going to do it again this year with the Stern Facebook Super fans. Whackpacker High Pitch Eric doing a cancer walk in Central Park in honor of his mother who died of cancer. He'll be part of a team called Team Mooski. I believe it's a five mile walk. Is that the longest walk you've ever taken part in for charity? Yes, I did an ALS walk a few months ago. I thought that was a two or a three-mile walk. Do you think you'll be able to make the entire five miles? I hope so. I really hope so. I did an ALS walk at Phoenix, so hopefully I can do the cancer walk. John Lieberman, Howard 100 News. Follow the Howard Stern Show on Twitter. 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 Go to twitter.com slash Stern Show. This Sunday marks the 12th anniversary of Howard Stern speaking to a crowd of 9-11 first responders. It was a fundraiser for the families of responders lost on 9-11. Performers that night included Stern Show guest Sir Paul McCartney, Billy Joel, Elton John, Jay-Z, James Taylor, and Macy Gray. Hello, everybody. As you can see, I'm a little bit scared to be here tonight. Everybody's probably surprised to see me here tonight. After all, I'm the idiot who embarrassed himself at many award shows in the past. I want to thank you for having me here tonight. It's an honor and privilege to be here with firefighters, policemen, the people who protect us, EMS workers, our great Governor Pataki and Rudy Giuliani. Please give money tonight and watch this film. Howard Stern started an on-air campaign that raised more than $1 million to help the families of New York police officers and firefighters who perished in the rubble of the Twin Towers on 9-11. Howard 100 News. Give us a minute. We'll give you a hard time. Yesterday, Donald Trump's senior advisor told Howard 100 News he didn't think Stern show guest Sir Donald would run for governor of New York. Last night, Trump confirmed what we reported on The Letterman Show. Well, I'm probably not. I'm, I can really say I'm really definitely not. I have other things to do. I have a lot of things that are going on that are fabulous. Another Howard 100 News brief at the top of the hour, or as close as we can get. Howard 100.